It's a lot about internal emotion. Each dancer has kind of made each section their own in expressing how they would feel in those situations. Even though it may not seem relatable, like I feel like everyone can relate to it, any type of issue or like problem that they're trying to uh, target. So I feel like it's just very universally relatable and just can kind of find their like place. Like they can interpret it, how they're expressing themselves through the movement by themselves because they all have their own way to relate to it. I am Chelsea reporting for The Life. According to Jesse Phillips Fine, artistic director of this year's dance concert, dance does not easily succumb to the rubric of ownership. It moves, literally of course, from body to body. It can exist in more than one place at a time. As such, it's fundamentally not exclusive. Dance desires to be shared. So prepare to be moved by some reflections from our student choreographers. What are you trying to communicate with this choreography in this piece? Uh, this piece is mainly for how boys, especially men of color, could could just dance and be happy and be free without any repercussions or anyone telling them otherwise. I was just trying to bring step back into Brooklyn Friends because I wanted to um, be a part of the extracurricular activity and I found out they didn't have it. I wanted to bring it back. The first song is about unity and how there needs to be like love within like black communities and especially within the boys in our community. There needs to be unity and like togetherness. And so that's the point of that piece. And then the second piece is about materialism and the importance of not caring so much about the things that you wear and the effect that it has on communities and friendships. So this piece is about my struggle with mental health. And this starts timing back all the way to when I was around eight years old and my struggle with depression during that time. So my piece shows the processes and emotions that I was experiencing. So each one of my dancers are a different emotion that I experience. So one is solitude, one is anger, and one is anxiety. This is a chapter in my book that I don't really reveal, but I want to tell you so that I personally heal. How do you get the dancers to express your vision? Well, I guess I tell them what I'm telling you now and tell them where it's coming from and that we have to take this seriously because it's coming from a place where people look down upon it. I also tell them to act as if this is something they were fighting for. All my dancers I'm close with, but we've had a relationship the past four years. We've built, I guess it's brotherhood together where we know that we're trying to help each other and we're trying to help demonstrate each other's like visions in some ways to try our hardest during practice to express those feelings so that when we get on stage, it's second nature. I had to tell them my story and kind of tell them like my healing process and like try to get them to channel and like any challenges that they experience or any moments of sadness and for them to bring it on stage. I just tell them what I want to happen and if they're not doing it then uh, I just gotta correct them and, or just show them myself how I want it to, to look. Just, just keep trying until uh, it looks how I envision it to be. What is your creative process? How do you get from idea to performance? So my creative process took a lot of remembering. For my first section is where me and my emotions are all together. We're kind of dancing in unison. And then the second piece is where someone else comes in. And this is kind of like a reflection of myself where we kind of dance slowly as if like we're romantically dancing, but it's like a dance with myself. In the third section, my emotions are all doing different things. And I like, I'm in the back trying, holding my friend's hand, trying to control myself. And the fourth section is where the character that's who's like playing me will commit suicide. And it's like what I pictured would be the ending. But I'm telling the story now, which means that there's still more to my story. So the creative process took a lot of reflecting and thinking and uh, formulating how the pieces were going to look. What is the title of your dance? And how does it relate to the choreography? Um, it's just community step, and that's kind of like how it relates because it's kind of like the youth step in the youth community, but it's really just community step. I just kind of combined the two purposes of the pieces. Like the first piece about unity and the second one is kind of about like shoes and the effect that they have. So I just, I just thought materialistic unity. 
boogie on up. You know, boogie, when you boogie, you get, you get like, right here, boogie down, like, just show your dance moves and stuff. But, like, for the um, younger, the younger generation, they're dancing up to higher grades. The backpack filled with unorganized demons. When you look at it, those four stages aren't really chronological. They were happening either at the same time, but they're four different sections or they were happening at way sporadic times. And this is coming from when I was eight years old and right now I'm 17, so it's been like a lot of different times. So some of the emotions that was challenging in the beginning of the piece, there's some emotions that I'm still challenging now. I guess they're kind of unorganized, so I call them my unorganized demons. I am Chelsea reporting for The Life, and remember to let your dance speak.